Oh. Go, go really close then you can hear it.
Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> 
running into a few of my There's something not right. This place feels all wrong. The forest is the same, but it's stronger here. I have been healed. I have been healed. I watched in awe as you dispatched those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts. Yes, the ghosts are most dangerous. We are fortunate that they have not yet ventured inside the inn. It offers us some refuge. But I forgot myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Tell me, did you happen to come across one of our son? It was the forest shadow. She's taken another from her. We hoped we had found a... Some. She does not attack us here at the inn. Those few we have dared send out to the forest do not return. We have tried so hard to find a way to end the fox's attacks. She must be stopped. We thought we were... Well, that is quite the thing to ask, isn't it? Quite a thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? 
No, I do not entirely trust you with... You must know fox spirits can assume the forms of... humans. How can I trust you not to be one of her servants, or the spirit herself? For now, simply accept what little hospitality we can offer. Go! This is the Mad Fox's place. I shudder to dwell too long on the subject. I do not know. Maybe the fox spirit that claims to protect this place has diseased it. Or perhaps she's just too weak to fight another disease. I don't care what happens to her, so long as my people... <laughs> Those of us at the inn, I mean, stay safe. I have heard that the Pilgrim's Path stays open to the town of Tien's land. One day, when the time is right, we shall make our way down there. Tien's landing is full of... so many people. Many travelers know the name of the Pilgrim's Rest, and before long, so will many more. It is an old name. The route you climbed used to be called the Pilgrim's Path, thanks largely to the temple near here and other small shrines. Here, at the hill's summit, the Pilgrims would stay and contemplate what they had seen during their climb. This place was known as the Pilgrim's Rest Lo Of course, this whole forest belongs to Lord Young, does it not? He expects this place to pay him a tribute. He doesn't call it that, but we know the truth. Mark me, Lord Young. I would... When will more come? The forest is closed. None will come except from Tien's landing, and that path is closing. The green one will starve us with her trees. There is still food in the undercaves. We will be fine. Hello. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, where the patron is the most important part of our business. I am Ho, your humble cook. I'm also in charge of the few supplies the inn actually stocks, if you have need of them. Though I am weary and worked to the bone, I'm here to help you. I don't know much about this forest at all. I was only passing through when I, uh, stopped at this inn. Turned out to be a longer stay than I anticipated. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. However, there's not much I can tell you, to be fair. You should ask the Keeper. I'm sure he'll be happy. I don't really go in for celestial politics, but I will say that it's awfully odd that the inn folk seem to hate her so. To hear them talk, she's practically insane with bloodlust. But everything here seems perfectly normal, wouldn't you say? No, no it doesn't. But why then are they so scared of this forest shadow? Well, I've probably said enough. The Keeper has more than enough to say for both of us about the forest shadow. I'd be happy to. In fact, if you think about it, with the ghosts filling the forest, I shouldn't have any supplies at all. There's n nothing, it's nothing. I, I just thought... Well, I was hoping that... Uh, would you like a bun? Perhaps you could, 
though I'm not so sure. Go and speak to the innkeeper. Ask him about the twisted servants of the mother. See how he reacts to that. Be prepared when you speak to him. That's all. You must join us for dinner. You would be a most welcome addition. The mother? Nothing, nothing at all! You should not speak nonsense when the forest shadow is still alive. Oh, you truly... You are lucky that I sense such great strength from you. Had you dealt with those ghosts out front? But please, allow me to... Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. It's them. Their corruption is what I've been feeling in this forest. They are vile. Are you happy now that you have the answer to your prying questions? No, of course not. You wish to know more. You are drawn. Intriguing, yes? Such power is hard to resist, is it? You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. The Forest Shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but soon she will be free. You will help... Tear him! Thousand cups. <laughs> 
That was astonishing. I haven't seen such martial skills in an eatery since the last time I added ginger to my wife's hot and sour soup. Thank you for your great kindness in rescuing me. Now that these beasts are dead, I can finally talk to you. My name is Henpecked Ho, and before you ask, I'm not one of those monsters. They kept me prisoner so that I could seem normal to the customers. No sense dancing around it. You might as well have asked. My wife is unique. To say that she is as enduring as the wall itself is to do a disservice to her persistence. I could make similar comparisons between the force of her will and the Imperial Army, but I think you have the picture. The last I saw of her, she was in the Imperial City. I was due back more than a week ago, and if she hasn't torn the place down looking for me, I'll be surprised. That's beside the point for now. I must thank you, as I clearly owe you my life. These cannibals were getting desperate enough to cook even someone as ropey as me. The last thing I needed was to be dragged into the caves below. They spoke often about the mother in the caves nearby. They used this inn as a base and a way to lure people to increase their food stocks and swell their ranks. What they failed to realize is that the forest is polluted with ghosts. No travelers means no food, whether people think this place is normal or not. I heard a lot about the caves from the cannibals. There's something down there they call the mother, and I think she, it, whatever, is what ma She is some sort of greater demon the cannibals serve. I think she's the reason they're as twisted as they are. From what I overheard, the mother was trapped in this hill before Sagacious Chen forged the Jade Empire. But something has disturbed her. I don't know how or why this mother of theirs has returned to the world. But if she can do this to men... That is something I do not know. They would leave the inn and then return. I wasn't in a position. Is there any... Well, they're cannibals. They were once men, but they were corrupted, twisted into flesh-eating abomination. The Keeper, the one who met everyone, including yourself, at the door, had some skill with magic. You might have seen through the illusion in time, but most people never get the chance. They're usually taken, or worse. They claim that they were changed by... Apparently she's an ancient demon responsible for... I was a master, top of my game and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous east. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. Teaching is all I can do. As I said, fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered fairly early on that she had opinions, most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. I can still teach you, though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now, if you'd like to learn. Pay attention. I don't like repeating myself. Now, when I am with you, I can throw you bottles of wine. You must pick these up in order to use Drunken Master. The effect wears off quickly, but I will make sure you don't run out of wine, as long as you keep the enemies off of me.
Now, watch my technique. Drunken master! You got it. Your job isn't done, though. There are still more cannibals in the hill. I don't know how to get in there, though. The cannibals were dead set against that forest shadow. They didn't want anyone going near the temple. Maybe you could find her and get some answers. I now see the flaw in teaching you the style. I'll keep you supplied with wine if you keep those beasts away from me. How can you fight so well when all you do is drink? It's harder to drink your water down swill than face those ghosts. Is everything in this damn forest missing the good parts? No, hey, that one's got all his parts, and they're even attached. Finally, a challenge. 
Wait, no, that's not a... Damn him. Spirit! Drunken master! Spirit! Hell, you're barely human. No one has ever withstood the axes of the Black Whirlwind before. I'm pretty sure I thought you were a ghost. That, and you looked like you might be able to hold your own for a few moments. Turns out I sold you short. Easy to do when you're as tall as I am. Anyway, I'm guessing you must be here on Lord Yun's business. Can't imagine why anyone would come here otherwise. You'll want to talk to Spear Catch's Leaf. He's Lord Yun's man. I'm just the hired mercenary. I am so very sorry. You must accept my <coughs> apologies. He is uncontrollable sometimes. Keep your apologies. That was amazing. Spear Catch's Leaf is no warrior. He doesn't understand the thrill of victory. You've just had the unexpected honor of defeating the Black Whirlwind, the self-styled...
Yes, I'm Spear Catches Leaf. Lord Yun's lead hunter. I learned a ritual from Lord Yun's father. I've set the fires and the furnaces are ready, but one of the key crystals is missing. You have it? Excellent. I should return and report this to Lord Yun. I am a hunter, not a warrior. My gifts lie in moving swiftly, si- The crystal fits into the central pedestal atop these steps, unlocking the lens arms in the lower furnaces so they can direct light to the remaining furnaces. The other furnaces have colored crystals in them, presumably to alter the light. Lord. A forest, he said, cares about only two seasons. The cooler air of winter and the blistering heat of summer are the only things it notices. All right. Hey, I'm not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back. My word isn't worth a damn thing. That said, I'm still reeling from actual- Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I de- My only rules are, don't touch my axes, don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Whoa! Almost didn't see the little guy. Is he with you too? Yes, I am, you great behemoth. Looks like I'm going to need a lot more supplies if I'm supposed to keep you fed. Be safe. The spirit's willing, I will reach Lord Yon's camp quickly. If you need more supplies... Let's go find some. Right. If I'm lucky, something will try to jump me on the way there. Though I bet you've ruined the fun by clearing... I am honored that you have chosen me.
Is there anything? I do not like the area. Do you realize how much trouble you've caused me? I'll be doing paperwork on that fight of yours well into next week. <sighs> For so long, it appeared you'd be one of the easy ones. Then that whole bandit attack happened, and I haven't rested since. <sighs> you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I am Zin Bu, the magic abacus. I was assigned to record, tabulate, and itemize the destruction that you cause. No easy task, I might add, especially since you embarked on this wild quest to find your master. Our calculations keep the universe in balance. Without us, chaos, anarchy, utter ruination. Look at your associate, Black Whirlwind. What a nightmare. A whole department can't keep up with his antics. But imagine if they failed to record his various deeds. We would never be able to determine his eventual position on the Great Wheel. Y you can't just guess at it. You must have records, itemized records, in triplicate, signed by the Overseer of Carnal Destruction and Disorder herself. Oh, you don't know the half of it. You remember that little engagement with Gao the Lesser? Hmm? 3,040 pages. I lost three assistants on that report alone. Aha! The very reason I'm here, and not back at the celestial bureaucracy tabulating your most recent exploits. I'm being relegated to a much lower role in trade and commerce. My only consolation is that I will no I'll be lucky if I ever attain the rank I had before you came along. But I have a plan that just might get me there. And you're going to help me. Instead of trying to find you a buyer or supplier wherever you go, I'm going to provide that service directly. Actually, I need you to buy from me. And occasionally sell any... By getting rid of the other suppliers and buyers, I can save time and be more efficient. Perhaps then I can regain some of the... In any case, I'll be joining with you in a sense, to offer you items for sale and to purchase anything ex- You gain the envious ability to buy and sell at your whim, and I, I can prove my worth. Well, that is a most excellent- Simply call upon me as you would any of your followers, and I'll- I'm afraid my supplies are a little low at the moment, but fear not, I will acquire new I- Don't worry! The forest had a mournful feeling to it, but there's no none of that here. If this is the forest shadow's home, she can't be behind the sickness in the tree. The kawa ir apu ofir wo utarawi ir kukiti salir sai wo ofno aknatinir.
The forest had a mournful feeling to it, but there's none of that here. If this is the forest shadow's home, she can't be behind the sickness in the trees. The cow Obviously. You should ready yourself, mistress. I do not trust them. <sighs> Mind your tongue, human. 
A friend who wakes up those beasts at the inn? <laughs> Do what you wish, mistress, but I will be watching. Whenever I was in the forest, I felt uncomfortable. I think she knows the real reason why. Yeah, yeah. Here, also here, I'm fifty fierce. I won't know here. Even here, so weak, the waters cannot bleed forever. Nothing is without end, not even this world, not when my power rests in the hands of mortals. Names are fleeting, given so your kind can point and say, that is mine. All words, names, history, dreams, they die on your lips. What remains after that is beyond you, or is meant to be. Not everything can be owned, not without price. You will pay a debt earned by another. I lack the strength to help you. You cannot avoid your fate. When someone steps beyond their station, others must fall to fill the gap. You are in your station. You are where you should be. He is counting on that. If you fail in your destiny, your true enemy falls with you. And if he falls, so do we all. You must win. But in doing so, you will lose. It is a painful circle that must be allowed to close. You do not truly have a choice until you confront what comes after. Why we're not waiting for you soon? Oh, honey, 
That beast should never have woken up. Oh, can she look me at our fasting zero? Oh, our fair was a room. Can he? Oh, yeah, we are can he look? Now we are cannot look out here. South of our years, no near east, need ya we fool. Don't know where I will be a year. Would need be here a husband. As soon as the year so year, you look and you also look here, okay, year, or go kiss here. I have been healed. This is nightmarish. We have to finish this any way we can. Change will take you. Soon you will be one of us. So... What? Who are you? Lies! You... Spirit, deep. 
Capturing people, changing some, and eating the rest by. There's no way to. This is so. Filthy thin blood, my pretty.
Cuts and cuts. I need healing. Feel the filthy thin blood, my Oh, I found the drunken master style, but it's a companion. You have to have a companion now, and just throws you wine. It's kind of lame. Forgot it was like that. Fighting the demons. All oh, these crazy ass demons, okay.
Thousand spirit key. Fuck. Stop yelling, brothers. <laughs> What's your style? Two brothers. Thirty points, Jesus. It's too late. Yes, well, it's obvious you two are fine on your own. I'll just wait here. I didn't say anything. What? Oh, no, you don't. We'll all go together. Besides, I need you to keep the wine flowing. I'm always more dangerous when I'm drunk. We should move. There could be... There's one there. Are they coming out of the walls? I'll go make sure they aren't trying to cut us off. You deal with the mother. Well, there's no turning back now. Who knows? This should be fun. If there's enough...
Hey look, a bonfire. This game had bonfires, that's where I'd be. Them Xbox graphics, though. I have, like, instant load times, though. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Great. Use Kung Fu against a monster. Yes, sorry. Hi. She's too strong to defeat without using your head. The Kung Fu fucking mastery. I'm trying to drop the ceiling on her. Turn down for what? The party. The party's not. until I level up indefinitely. made an in-game reference about that type that movie we watched the other one the one with Jet Li one of the characters shouted something and it was a direct reference to that he's like is this why you always break uh, bricks over your uh, break bricks now kill the guy it's from that movie it's actually pretty funny <laughs> racist okay. spirit thief <laughs> Perfection! 
only chance! Save the day again. Oh, sexy fonts. <laughs> I'd have traded your life for the death of that thing as well. Huh? It's a fair trade. <laughs> Do you like the characters in this game? Except for Sky. Does anyone like Sky? I buy spirit, bitch. Well, yeah, it's it's it. cool. Like I I, I really want to see this the game. Heavens. When the earth well, started to like, shake, I was cut nice off from you. The game's pretty quiet. I think we like some different you themes stopped them. The combat make it a little bit more complex. I'm glad you, we came through here. Those beasts had to be destroyed. Cameo bite. You should probably go down to his camp and check with Lord Young. He'll likely want a reward. But a Jade Empire probably won't have. The Bun Man and I'll make our way back to Tien's land. If you need my axes or whatever he does, just call. Quite far enough. I am Inquisitor Lim. Inquisitor Lim. Of the assassins. Son of a bitch. I am tired of seeing our carefully laid plans fall to your thuggish fists. The operations in the ruins and Gao's factory were my responsibility. Their destruction is my shame. Shut up. I like how your facial expression changes depending on. Evil? What does youth know of evil? Do you remember the long drought? The thousands who died? We uphold the Emperor's will. And if his will holds that a few must suffer so that the many can enjoy peace, I am expected to deliver this worthless fragment of a spirit monk amulet to our fortress. But that won't counter my disgrace for what you did. Perhaps if I offer your head... And track down that accursed zoo who has been seen in the area. Enough old. Is that what he calls himself now? Hardly an honest representation of the blood he spilled. Enough talk! Oh. 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 
after after I wondered how long it would be before you made your the forest shadow her she explained what happened in the inn nasty business that that they did imagine such horror 
Here is the wind map you wanted. The copy is near perfect, and I assure you that the assassins will never know you have it. Allow me to answer that, Lord. Well, it seems that you've solved the problem with the forest. That doesn't mean the ghosts will simply up and leave. If we're lucky, then you've stopped things from getting worse, and... As I said, the for... It was a lucky moment when you walked into this place. We will stay on here. Besides, I think I have some old family business to... Indeed. Farewell. That's good. My next fight, I can That's good to The forest was a disturbing place. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Lee's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so. Our time and I have been sensitive. It was very gradual. The world just seems to be filling up with spirits that have no place to go. That this affected even the forest shadow is very dis It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes, and what mortals like us are supposed to- What do you think? Master Lee thought you were tied to this side. Your appreciation is just what I was looking for, and I am great- I am glad we can talk like this. It's... Be it looks like we have everything we... We should head back to our camp at Tien's Landing and use the...
The dam is closed, the pirates are gone, everybody else was all doom and gloom. Some even wanted to leave the town. The dam is closed and the pirates are... In the past, I've shared the company of others that moved outside traditional paths. But this band of folks is by far the most exotic. You looked at me as you said that. What are you trying to say, Sky? Actually, you took it the wrong way around. You seem a bit more conventional than, say, Wildflower or Zoo. The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. I can't help it. I didn't mean to upset anyone. I thought our shared strangeness was fairly obvious. The way is clear. That is... an old wound. My departure from the Lotus Assassins was not gentle for either side. My immediate companion... Lim was not among them. He would have died if he was. I was labeled as the one who deserted, and I am occasionally... Another death. More blood spill. Regret? I have no regret for killing anyone who challenged me of their own will. Death is a measurable cost of your actions. Strength is the way of things. There is a place for the Enforcer. The man or... I did some harsh things while with the Lotus Assassins, but they no longer follow a path I recognize. They are a mirror of Death's hand. You will see as you get close to him. He draws out the... You have no concept for now. The way. Thank you again for rescuing me from those things. I owe you my deepest gratitude. As I mentioned, I am but a simple bond master with a dear wife who has turned my life into a miserable cesspool devoid of humor and excitement. My wife ensures that I work very hard every day to become the best bun master in the Imperial City, perhaps the best in all the Empire, though I was one of the most respected fighters in the Empire before I met my precious bride. She made sure that I became something more, or less. As I mentioned before, my style requires that I drink. She detests drinking, though there are things she detests even more, like talk of us separating. My loving wife would knead me into several small dumplings and boil me in hot oil if she suspected I was even speaking to you about leaving her. Life is not all bad, though. I may have lost all my dignity and self-respect, along with my ability to fight or even make a tight fist, but I am a bun master of some renown. I would sooner return to the cannibals and offer them what little flesh is left on my bones. But let's not... Perhaps in a little while. Memories of... If... I'd be happy to. Some... We were talking about Gao earlier, but now isn't really the... Give me a bit to digest what... Why does it matter? I was born by my mother and sucked at her teeth like every man. Well, like every man does with his mother. Anyway, 
By the time I was old enough to swing an axe, my father was dead and my mother disowned me. Of course, killing my father might have given her reason. I think she did it out of shame. My father beat me and my brother senseless, and made our lives miserable. Either way... Ha! Ah, I wasn't brave. I was furious. And he was drunk. It was an easy... I traveled a lot after that, begging for some things and taking the rest. Tough times, but not the worst. My axes and my wits kept me alive. Yeah, yeah. I had some wits before I got them all knocked out of me. Mostly, I just used my axes and my fists. You'd think a seven-year-old might be an easy target, but I soon learned just where to cut a man to make him squeal like a pig. Ah, those were the days. No, we...
That's it. You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go, and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. Have you seen anyone matching the description? The Lotus Assassins are getting impatient. They were very vague and wouldn't answer my questions. Are they even sure of who they are looking for? Does it matter? Death Sand himself seeks this one. Do you need any more incentive than that? Just question everyone. This person apparently caused a lot of damage in the South. Here, what about this one? At least it's a man, like they said. You! Identify yourself! By order of the Emperor and the Lotus Assassins, state your name and purpose for being in the Imperial City. We are questioning everyone who has arrived in the city recently. You bear a resemblance to someone we are looking for. I don't know. The young looks, the tunic is similar as well. It's not enough to be sure. Hmm. We could hold him anyway. It's not a good match, but the Lotus Assassins would leave us be for a few days while they question him. Is there a problem here, Captain? Well, is there... No, Princess Leanne. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this man is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, Princess Leanne. Then unless you wish to be transferred to the Wall, you will leave and continue your search. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. No guys, I assure you. You have the honor of addressing Princess Leanne, the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. Hmm. 
Somehow I did not expect you to kowtow so quickly. Or maybe I just hoped you wouldn't. I get so tired of fawning servants. That is why I often travel without official escort, and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. That would be best. I trust the servants I keep, but this is best discussed away from the open street. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. Very well. We will continue speaking later. I'm sure we both have questions that need answering. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master and time... It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sanlian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. The Imperials... This is all so much to absorb. I don't mean to distract you. I just wanted someone familiar around me for a moment, if only to reassure me that we are still in the Empire I thought I knew. I have long dreamed of reaching the Imperial City, but now that I have, under these circumstances, I am more overwhelmed than ever. Yeah. But that's what is bothering me. We can't be a long way from home because our home is... I can no longer say that what I see is strange or foreign because I have lost what I would have compared it to. I am the one out of place now. I suppose that is a reflex of mine. I cannot be excluded if I don't belong to begin with. That is why I did not participate much while at the school. As a child, I was marked by ill omens, apparently named for them. The people in Two Rivers were polite, but many did not hide the discomfort I caused them. I was watched, studied. If someone's ox died within a season of me bumping my head, it was somehow my fault, and I was treated like a pariah. How do you deal with being able to sense the spirit world when people make such absurd conclusions? I... I cannot change who I am, I know. Perhaps I just have to let all of that go. It will not be... But I do feel that you have given me a strength I did not have before. We should continue this... The imp Don't... I trust your plans go well. Despite the dangers you face and inflict, is there something I can do for you? They are as powerful as fear allows them to be. Not the specific information you are looking for, I'm sure, but... If their tactics have not changed, everyone fears them as children fear the shadows. They are not outlaws. Their orders come from Death's hand and he is the will of the Emperor. At least, that is how it was meant to be. Pardon my... That is wise. The Lotus Assassins were once the Order of the Lotus under Prince Kin, spiritual advisor to the Emperor. During and after the attack on Dirge, changes were made. As flames seared the sky, enemies of the Emperor faced a new threat, Death's Hand. He assumed command of our Order, and we began silencing people. Some were killed only to serve as warnings. Others... Others had done nothing except be near his enemies.
I am no stranger to death. That alone is not enough to disturb me, but I see only weakness in targeting innocence, peripheral to the real enemy. Weakness suggests losing the right to rule. Can you see how that shook my faith in the Empire? You seem to see why I had concerns. Perhaps you might understand. I have not said everything, and I have not yet decided if... I can't believe my luck! I arrive home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives! I am very happy indeed. Instead of dying upon my return home, I am free! Until she returns, of course. And Always happy to... I don't know about you, but if a member of the Imperial family were leaving me gifts, I'd be mighty curious to learn more. Then again, the Scholar's Garden is full of more hot air than some flyers, so I can understand your reluctance to rush there. What? Well, the city has everything you could ever want. Fighting, money, wine, and... Um, it was something else that people like, but I can't call... Oh, well, I'm... What? what a wondrous flyer you have. You don't see any of that design about the city. Since they became more common among the nobles, fly allow me to officially welcome you to the Imperial City. I am by the Outcrier. It would be an honor to say that I aided someone who was greeted by... There are several districts within easy walking distance. This area is the Market District, and it is filled with all sorts of merchants and traffic. If you cross the waterway and turn left, you will soon come to the Gate of the Golden Way, a rich and luxurious place. The Golden Way is connected to both the Scholar's Garden at its far end and the Necropolis, though no one would venture into those burial grounds without... Empire game should be. <laughs> uh, they had a special edition to them, a character, and he had a special weapon. I want to be these people. Oh. Kids. It's okay. They're just stuck in the wall. Excuse me, out of my way. I've got to get these buns to the Scholar's Garden. Quick, quick, now move. Hmm. Shush now. You'll offend the go- Now then, after all the trouble we've caused you, is there anything we can help you with? We've got fresh buns. Just made them myself. Ah. Uh. Ha. We're members-
you're, if you're a kung fu master or you know kung fu, someone will get in a fight with you. This has not happened yet. Like, I should have walked in and they should have been like, Hey, I challenge you to a duel because you're new and suspicious. No. I've been denied this. Denied my right. Challenge by Rand. Six 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 experience. Oh shit, son. I leveled up. Oh shit. What level am I? I'm level thirteen. Oh double bad luck. I'm going to hell. I'm dying. Look at this place, so many people. The scourge of the south has destroyed whole villages in the south. Many innocents have suffered at the hands of the scourge. Be on the lookout for the scourge of the south. It is your duty as citizens of the empire to report anyone who matches this description. Keep an eye out for a young man dressed in plain blues and greens. He is heavily armored from head to foot. Reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and fully armed. This man is very dangerous. Do not try to apprehend the Scourge of the South. Well, all these years together and I never suspected you were the Scourge of the South. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's not funny. At least they didn't get your looks right. These bounties won't collect themselves. Where are the... Greetings, citizen. Imperial Captain Sen at your service. Are you... I was told that there were some new warriors in town looking for work, though... Admittedly, you don't resemble the ones described to me, but they're several days late. Criminals with lucrative bounties on their heads. I need help tracking down a pair of criminals. These two scoundrels have eluded my best efforts, so I'm turning to bounty hunters. It's harder to run when you're pursuing. I see no problem hunting down criminals, so long as we don't draw too much attention to ourselves. I'm searching for an arsonist and a notorious confidence man. Find and eliminate either one and there's a standard bounty in it for you. A wise decision. The two criminals are Fading Moon and Cre Creative Yukong has virtually disappeared. Though we may be able to learn something from Lady Rento, the wife of the man. Fading Moon is an arsonist. Her first fires were in the poor quarters, but her last one spread to the market district gate. Last we heard, she... Well, as I said, she confined them to the poor districts. She would have been impossible to catch in that rat's nest. More frankly, there isn't enough money to make it worth my effort. The gates between here and the poorer districts will be closed for some time while repairs... Yukong fleeced some silver from Lord Rento, a powerful man in the Ministry of Harmony. Yukong is a master of disguise. Lord Rento is away on court business, but his wife informed me that she'd be in... She knows the details of the theft better than I. Lord Rento was reluctant to discuss them. Yukon could be anywhere or any. Out of sheer spite, the scour scourge flooded. The scourge associates with nefarious fox. I'm not worried about ghosts. 
If there are any, the Emperor will deal with them quick enough. Excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. Black Leopard School. Oh shit. Do you really think we'll find second brother here in the city? Why ask me? I don't even want to be here. Second Brother probably decided he didn't want to listen to Master Radiant anymore. Never! Second Brother is devoted to Master Radiant. If anything, I suspect Master Smiling Hawk had something to do with his disappearance. What? You dare accuse Master Smiling Hawk? Quiet, you worms. You're here to look for Second Brother, not bicker like schoolchildren. Is... Is this a school? It is so much bigger than what we had in Two Rivers.
You're a fool if you believe what Master Smiling Hawk teaches. Brute force is not always the best way to win a battle. Oh, and Master Radiant's ways are better? I don't think so. Brute force is the only way to get what you want, and I can prove it. How? I'll show you. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here, or we'll throw you out! Ha! You sound like my weakling friend over here. Now. You don't hear so well, do you? Come on. Drunken master! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Peace, third brother. That is no way to treat a guest. Enough. Leave us, third brother, before you disgrace the school and yourself, and take the. I'm very sorry about that. We are not accustomed to having visitors. My name is First Brother Kai. Welcome Brother Kai. to the Black Leopard School. Yeah. Yes, you are quite right. Normally this kind of thing would never happen at the Black Leopard School. Fortunately, you seemed more than capable of handling the situation. In all my years, I've never seen anyone but a master with skills like yours. I would not normally ask, but would you be interested in joining our school? It would be an honor to have someone of your skill. Excellent. I must speak with the masters on your behalf. They are the final judge of such matters. Wait here. Good news. Master Radiant agreed to let you join. A rare honor indeed. First, however, Master Radiant wants to ensure that your fight against the novices was not just luck. You must now defeat each of the brothers here at the school. Good. A positive attitude will win you many fights before you even begin. You have proven you can defeat our novices. Now you must prove yourself against the brothers. The brothers have trained long and are second only. Sixth brother is the least skilled, so you will start with him. Work your way to third brother. If you succeed... Second brother is not here. I must be honest with you. I believe Master Radiant has a plan in allowing you to join us. Master Radiant and I have tried for some time to temper Master Smiling Hawk's ways. He is cunning and ruthless. Normally I wouldn't speak openly about such things, but you are new, and your skill will... Good. You'll need to speak with each of the brothers and ask them to fight with you. I'm sure once you...
So you're the one who was challenging our novices earlier. I'm sixth brother Gao Shan. If you think you can defeat a disciple of Master Smiling Hawk, challenge. That was lucky. That was lucky. Yeah. I'm leaping Lou. I shall leap on you. Reaping Rue! You must be the new student. I'm fifth brother Shang. It would seem Master Radiant is up to his tricks again. Re Good. Thank you for you again. How should I know? He's probably licking Master Radiant sandals. He was always such a devoted follower. Huh. So you'd rather talk than fight. It's students like you. Master Radiant teaches patience and peace. What's the point? Why study for years to be a great fighter if you're... Master Smiling Hawk believes in using our power to take what we want. I've already told you. I have no idea, though he was very vocal in condemning Master Smiling Hawk. Perhaps he grew tired of all the bickering here and decided to leave. I know if I was a follower of Master Radiant, I would likely get very bored, very quickly. Maybe he just decided to go to a new school, somewhere more peaceful. The Black Leopard School is the most respected school in all the Empire, but we are losing that respect. The school has strong leadership, but we currently suffer from having too many leaders. Two Masters is one too many. I don't mind Master Radiant, but he is too detached and too passive. Master Smiling Hawk could regain our respect if Master Radiant would let him.
Action! You may have defeated us, but Third Brother will teach you what real fighting is like. You certainly taught us a thing or two about fighting. I'm just glad you didn't hurt us too badly. you pigs all day long? Yes, mistress. I, I mean, no, mistress. Get out! Get out of here before I break your skull open, you little rat! This isn't a public restaurant. We only serve the students here. You'll have to go back to the city if you're hungry. Questions about what? Me? Is this some ploy to get an extra serving of fish in your soup tonight? It won't work, you know. But, since you asked. I am the headmistress here at the school. I organize everything that these witless fighters forget to do. Paperwork, laundry. It's a thankless job. Never so much. You're the student, you tell me. What is there to tell? The boys come and learn to fight, and they think that's all there is to the world. Learning and fighting. They are very good at both, but put any one of them in a room with a lady and they just wither away. What's the point in teaching a man to learn and fight? Masters? Ha! I'm the only master of this school. Those other two hide in their rooms all day long doing who knows what. How can you be master of anything when you never participate? It's unnatural. Of course, it wasn't always that way, or at least there was only one master once. Makes sense to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as I always say. Hello, my name is Fourth Brother Yu, and you must be the new prodigy. First Brother told us to watch out for him. Since he defeated Fifth Brother... I've been trying to find that out myself. I even sent a few of the students into the city to see if they could discover the truth. Master Smiling Hawk was the last to speak with Second Brother. Third Brother told me that Master Smiling Hawk sent Second Brother into the city on an errand. But nobody saw him leave the school. I fear Second Brother has... Well, the school is the best of its kind in all the Empire. I consider myself very fortunate to be a student here. That's not to say that we don't have our problems. Having two masters is a bit... Master Radiant is a great leader, but he never comes out of his room anymore. Master Smiling Hawk, on the other hand, Let's... Thousand cuts! Thousand cuts! Thousand cuts! Thousand cuts! Thousand cuts! Long sword!
very impressive. I can see the masters were right to let you train with us. Well, thank you for the fight. Okir Okun won Pifir ir Witiwik, ir Wosa ir Sankut. Og Nigua ir Nawara irok, Wosa ir Tat. Sata as. Thank you, third brother, that is all. You are dismissed. Sata kwa ir Noroki ir Tana. So, you are the new student I have heard so much about. Rarely does someone so young display the ability that you have shown. I noticed that you did not come from one of our usual schools. Do you mind if I ask you who your real master is? I don't think I've heard of him. Nevertheless, he obviously taught you well. You have talent. And with second brother's death, we have need of a new brother. I asked him to do something for me. He refused. Let me be blunt. Master Radiant is holding this school back. He's holding me back. Radiant is weak. He follows the way of harmony. His methods are slow and pitiful. This school belongs to me. I want Master Radiant removed, and you're the one to do it. You have certain abilities that will enable you to defeat my rival. Master Radiant is resistant to my style, but you, you are something different. I could sense it as soon as you arrived. You are the only one here capable of defeating Master Radiant, and rest assured, I will reward you extremely well for ridding me of him. To begin with, you'll have to deal with First Brother Kai. Destroy him, and you'll only be left with Radiant. But together, they would be too powerful. Do as I ask, and I will teach you things that no one else can. I also have a few rare items that should appeal to you. Simply kill First Brother and Master Radiant. The task is straightforward. You are a fool! You could have had everything. Instead, you will not survive your match with Third Brother. I will see to it. Now get out! Who oh, knew you? Do not disgrace yourself further. Apafa was so. 
That was quite a match. I've never seen third brother Rinshan fight that well, and yet you still beat him. I suspected something was amiss. Master Radiant was sure you would prevail. He asked me to bring you to him once you defeated third brother. You won't have to test yourself against me. Come. Sisae Pawao, Tikotro Tuaso. Ho <laughs> Ipanar nuku iwa ir nika sanarir iruru ni nua sa ir kana. Sa irus ti usiat saru rasi pahu kari ir napsu aku. Master, I never. Sa irus ti usiat saru rasi pahu kari ir napsu aku. If we were ook sonorok noka ook snapir, konir fuk no son could na no one a napir. Isana yoyo. Wonaka be sorry, Awaf, van seer sorofos is. You could ni kunk u no sa ir son could noka u. Tawir Iruru ni nua sa ir kana. Sata tawe ir wo nawa fu kuno su kut ni a awa fawa. Ikir nik tine piru wo ipirek uk sun puno. Wo wo sun puno no ya papap nasi a iwi. Niato wo no napati iru vir. Nalaro na pira pirni nik takatasi. Ir kana, o nika suri ir kwana noka. Tawe ir kwana ir suni ir ipoki. Sata tawe ir wo nawa fu kuno su kut ni a awa fawa. O no you will walk it to a saw irokawash. Sa ir yakawak, coconato see. I should have killed you sooner. You had such promise. With only you to stop. Radiant is dead. His time has passed. Now is the time for... Th now you see why I need you. you. I will give you one chance to change your mind. Now that you have seen... I liked you. And I had so hoped... 
work. Now I will give you a demonstration of true skill. Unfortunately, you won't be around long enough to learn from it. Longsword! This is your turn! No, third brother. I have a much better use for you. Now we will fit. What? No! First Brother sent me to find you! He was worried Mas Master Radiant and First Brother Master, why must you leave? I still have so much to learn from you, and we need a strong master to rebuild the school. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, well, this never would have happened. It seems to me that you're the one who should receive this honor. Irkana, wo nigasuri ir kwana no kasa ir niato wo no napadi irovir. Irkana, tawo ir kwana ir suni. Tasi ir si ir tintu funye wo 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 si ir wo tahufu. Wo wo sun funu no ya pa pa nasi ay wira sa. I would speak with you alone, Master Radiant, before. If you wait outside, I will join you in a minute. What? There you are. Master Radiant has gone, and I'm left to lead this school on my own. I'll miss him very much, but at least we are rid of Smiling Hawk. I wanted to thank you for all you've done, but I also wanted to show you some items that belong to Master Smiling Hawk. I thought you might find something of interest.
You're welcome to visit the school and spar with us whenever you like. The students... Good. I could use a good... Excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. 